there. So today uh, in manners, we're going to work on go to bed, which is going to be go lay down over there. But first we have to close our distance. So I'm going to start really small and I'm only going to use skills that she already knows. So she, if you've been working on down, this will be easy. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was just going to go and lay down. <laughs> Come here, Bolana. So she's trying to figure out how to get this cookie and she knows I see the mats over here. So maybe if I lay down over there, I'll get that cookie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure her. So go back and watch that video on luring versus rewarding if you need to, a refresher. Sit or down. <laughs> that works. And then I'm going to use touch to move her off the bed. Because I'm working on go to bed, I'm not going to reinforce coming off of it. I'm just getting her off of the bed so I can send her again. Yes. So I'm not calling it go to place or go to mat or bed or anything yet. I'm just use I'm luring to where I want her to go. Yes, when she lays down on that thing and then touch to get her off. At some point, most dogs will stop targeting to my hand because they're like, what's the point? You're just gonna send me back here. And that's okay, I can always lure to get them off or I can throw food to go get them off, that's okay. Once I'm pretty convinced that the dog can do the behavior without the lure, I'm going to practice a couple times without using my words. Yes. So I'm sending and I'm pointing down. Remember, this was our cue for down. If you're using a whole hand for down, that's okay too. Use whatever the dog will be responding to or that you've been practicing. So I'm pointing to where I want her to go and sending her into down position. Good job. I'm now going to start adding the word go to bed. I don't know if that's the word that Nick uses for Bolana, but that's what we're going to train her. I called her Panda last week, so we're good. Come here, Bolana. Sit. Ready? Go to bed. Yes. Good job. From here, I can play <laughs> with either increasing distance. Can I get further from the bed and still get her to go? Go to bed. Yes. Without changing my body position. So I'm still pretty close to like I was here and I was pointing. Now I'm over here. Come on. <laughs> Sit. Ready? Go to bed. Yes. Oh. There you go. I always try to reward in position. That's really important to me. Um, other trainers, every time they say yes, they always give a cookie even if the dog is broken. For me, the dogs that I work with tend to be really high paced, so I always wait for them to be in position. Whichever way you choose to do it, you are not wrong, as long as you are consistent with it. Um, touch. It's how you use the yes. Uh, Ken Ramirez, if you wanna Google him, he actually has a really great book out. I haven't read it yet, but all the all of my favorite people have read it um but i saw him give a talk about like how people use clickers and some people use it to get their dog's attention and they're not wrong as long as they're consistent some people use it like i do which is go to bed so i can either click or yes and then as long as she stays in position continues to give the cookie so yes you're here but you have to stay here don't move until i finish that bridging the gap between us and you get the treat. Others click, if she jumps up and comes over to me, then she would still get the cookie. So depending on how you want to use it, just be consistent. So I, I've now played with adding moving distance. I'm now gonna see if I can work on duration. So I'm gonna move a little closer to her. I'm gonna close that distance. Ready? So now I'm gonna make her stay there for a couple seconds before she gets the cookie. Alana, go to bed. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Good job. So again, because I'm working on duration now, I'm going to close the distance. If I'm working on distance, I'm going to close the amount of time that she's going to have to stay here. And maybe she needs to go for a quick bathroom break, and that's actually a really good place for us to start. To stop. <laughs> so practice go to bed this week and continue making that harder tweaking only one or the other at a time, and we'll see you guys soon.